Hi traders, Joseph here from ACAP. Welcome to today's update. Thank you very much for your time and uh, checking it out. So today we're looking at Bitcoin, looking at Bitcoin on the daily chart in front of us at the moment. And we're going to just have a quick chat about price at the moment. And uh, this move yesterday that looks to be driven higher by a um, stablecoin launch through PayPal and also US banks being downgraded. So it could be a Bit of a two prong there with uh, money moving back into cryptos out of interest in uh, new um, new new excitement and uh, new interest from the stablecoin launch through PayPal and also people looking to move their money uh, around a little bit with uh, the downgrades going on of uh, multiple U.S. banks. So what is interesting about this move is that we saw the U.S. dollar appreciate quite well yesterday after that news. And if we just uh, quickly jump over to the dollar index, uh, we can see yesterday's move was quite decent. It retested that uh, that resistance at this level. But for now, it still does uh, remain a little, pretty much range bound in this area. But without getting too uh, far into the dollar, why this was interesting for Bitcoin is that Bitcoin basically rallied with the dollar. It just ignored it. And that is you know, a small positive uh, just to see that as some uh, as sometimes we do see when the dollar is firm or if there's a lot of money moving into it, we have seen uh, cryptos, including Bitcoin, uh, suffer due to that. So this was quite interesting to see just, you know, I hate to say, but, you know, organic interest and organic, you know, demand coming into the market. And we we do wonder how much that was driven by the uh, stablecoin launch or was a good chunk of that uh, also due to uh, money moving uh, out of other risk assets and into a different asset class due to uh, the downgrades. Now, gold, for instance, is up today, but it did fall um, yesterday with the dollar strengthening. So there is a, you know, that is a little bit interesting on two sides of the story with uh, how much demand is here and, and has that all been discredited through that uh, launch through uh, the PayPal stable coin. So that's some of the uh, reasons that we are looking, are uh, thinking about in terms of what drove the market yesterday. But price wise, we can see it was a very firm gain and uh, we did retest 30,000 today before selling came in. Price at the moment is, you know, that 0.91% lower and we have uh, retested some resistance at the this level here and that's it really that 30,150 and we do have that you know key support down at 28892 and um, that's held out pretty uh, pretty well uh, in previous tests so we'd like to see that remain in play there was a you know some short-term resist range resistance really here at 29395 or 29400 that was beaten by yesterday's rally and it also beat that high as well so we'd seen a, a fair range uh, on Bitcoin for a period of time we had that one breakout last week which was uh, rejected pretty quickly and what is really good to see about this breakout is actually it held and we didn't see a fast fade like we saw um, last week so this does set it apart um, a little bit from some of the previous moves we've seen but we'll need to see what happens with today's selling but for now we are looking at this from a potential breakout and we can see if we just draw a trend line down here we can see a nice breakout of that point there and we can also see from really from this point here we can see a nice breakout as well so there is a bit of a pattern there it's a descending triangle and uh, while we see price remain above this support point uh, and with that rejection again uh, yesterday sorry uh, earlier in the week uh, on the weekend we can see plenty of demand coming in anytime the price tries to move below this area and while that support stays in play and we see this nice move here we will look to see if this will continue to be a breakout and a possible continuation so by just dropping down uh, in terms of the view we can see that price still remains in a nice trend um, we do have some pretty strong key resistance really from this area here at 31 all the way up to uh, close to 32 31.8 uh, and we would like to see really just a new move by buyers that continues to hold out and a new push up higher to uh, get back above that 31 level at a uh, minimum and then see if we can get back up to test some of these highs so for now things are looking pretty positive and um, regardless of the influences as driving price we want to see we want to continue to see this momentum carry forward and we want to see uh, any new uh, retracements including today turning to higher lows and we would like to see a new higher high and preferably we'd like to see that sooner rather than later break this resistance you know at 31 
30 point you know 3200 and um, just get a close above that area to show that demand and buyer interest is really firm as it appears to be uh, starting to to form at this stage so we continue to uh, keep an eye on Bitcoin the key here is we want to see this level hold a break below this point and this point here is a pretty bad sign for buyers and we would like to preferably see price remain above this level here and continue to trade you know trade above um, that 29600 uh, area today and um, hopefully for the rest of the week, uh, depending on the CPR data that's coming out um, tomorrow, or I'll have to check that the US CPI data could also be a factor. Uh, we want to see price continue to break these resistance levels and uh, continue to push forward. So we'll see what the next step is if we do see any more selling, but we'd like to see higher lows and new higher highs just to show us that this trend is going to continue. And then ultimately, we really want to see a test and break of uh, this resistance area here just to show that uh, strength is really there. So that's it for today's update. Thank you again for tuning in. We hope you have a fantastic rest of your Wednesday or for your Wednesday if you're in the US and we wish you all the best with your trading for the rest of the day and thanks again bye for now